Hey everyone, Zachary Asin here, and uh, I was looking through some of my old art folders and I found a bunch of my old work, and it was pretty bad. And I know for me personally, I kind of like seeing artists' old works, so I figured, what the hell, I'll share. So, this is some work from uh, 2003 and onward, so it's been... 10 years now and as you can see that was uh, is pretty bad I was actually proud of this one when I when I did it but uh, as you can see there's like a lot of her skull is missing <laughs> I mean the uh, the jaw comes here so the ear is gonna be somewhere around here and then you would have the back of a head but anyway um, yeah and here's a, a study I was still getting into digital art and at this point, I was completely self-taught, so <laughs> I had no idea how to do anything. And I thought, okay, let me do some just drawings and figure stuff out. So I had no idea what I was doing here. Um, wow. <laughs> this one. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, so... I hope this is inspiring to people that, you know, just keep drawing because uh, these are pretty awful. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a cactus. And... So I think I had a lot of the problems that early artists uh, have um, trouble with form and proportions and uh, composition. I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, some chairs and uh, yeah, it's it's like I I don't know what was going on. Uh, here I was playing around with brushes and getting different effects, and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's just painting and trying different. Here I'm trying different filters, and this one's kind of cool. I like the face. Um, but, okay, so already I'm in 2004 now. So, okay. This is my last painting of 2003. So that's in a year <laughs> what I did. Um, uh oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Boy, this is pretty embarrassing. Yeah, uh, just trying stuff and <sighs> what can I say? <laughs> oh man, oh, this is. I can see what this is supposed to be. There's like a hot air balloon here, and there's like an airship, but it's so messy. Oh, oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh, now we're in 2005, so, uh, so 2003, I think I was like 19, uh, so now I would be 21, and this is, mm, I don't know what to say, 21, mm. all I, all I know is there's a lot of 17-year-old <laughs> kids that are much better than this, but Again, hopefully it's it's motivation to people who are not so good that there is hope if you keep at it. Um, and, God, I'm in 2006 now. So I didn't paint a whole lot. I don't think this is everything I did. I know I was keeping a sketchbook as well. But it's all that I have saved. So, <laughs> um, yeah. At this point, I still, I, I just have no direction, so I'm just looking at stuff and trying to figure things out. Um, it wasn't, what, 2007 already? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so here uh, I got into um, traditional, and I started doing some paintings. Uh, I think this is pastel and 
acrylic, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um. I mean, it's going somewhere, but still, it, it has no real direction, and I didn't really know what I was doing in art at this point. Um, these are from 2008, uh, so not long ago. This is actually, because I started making YouTube videos at, in 2006, so this is already two years in to when I was making uh, YouTube videos, and I think this one is from a YouTube video. So, there's that. Um, I still have no idea what I was doing. Um, and I was really hesitant to start making videos, but I figured, because as you can see, I'm really bad. <laughs> but I figured that um, if I know a little bit and I can pass it on, then at least I can help people who are a little bit worse than me. Um, and that was my my reasoning. So this one, I watched this series by a guy called Matt Archambault, and uh, he talked about measuring with angles, and that was my first introduction to that. So this is, I guess, my first real technique stuff, where I figure, okay, um, I have a method now to draw, because before I just start drawing and painting and keep, keep, I guess, scribbling around until something happened um but anyway uh yeah some terrible anime stuff um more bad stuff that one's okay yeah <laughs> here's some more traditional stuff so um now what's happening though is i took this is my first time taking lessons, so I took private lessons with a guy. Uh, I've mentioned him in another video, uh, Zongru Huang, and this was some of the exercises. So he had like plaster casts, and you had to just draw it. Um, drawing skulls. And... Yeah, this is pretty basic art school stuff. I was still quite bad but here I'm learning about values so in two months I spent uh, studying with him and as you can see it improved a lot um, I'm still having pro like I don't really understand form here I'm just getting a sense of value and uh, the Matt Archambault lessons kind of taught me about proportion just just in terms of drawing what I could see um, not really in terms of coming up with things from imagination. Um, but here I'm, I'm getting a sense of values and yeah, this stuff is, I mean, it's not great, but it's a marked improvement from what I was doing. Uh, this is an oil painting of like, yeah, it's um, really low resolution, but just vegetables from life. And so, yeah, so then I went back to imagination because I wanted to be able to draw from imagination. But as you can see, just being able to draw what you see doesn't mean you can draw from imagination. Um, but I did a lot more drawing in a short time. So there was some improvement. Uh, there's a lot of problems with this. Uh, the shoulder especially is really broken. Um, what else? some more oil painting and you can see just how bad the perspective is so like this thing doesn't it's not in perspective so it's just things are kind of floating um, but again color and value are okay uh, just a self-portrait thing and more oil paintings um, fruit and an egg. Eggs are really hard to draw because uh, the shading has to be done uh, very particularly how the light is and where the shadows go. Uh, you can try it if you're curious and yeah. Um, now I'm moving into caricature. So at this point I don't know what I'm doing with caricature. I'm just 
and some life draw life painting now. So I think I these were some of the first times I was actually just painting from life. Um, and I want to say that, you know, I learned a lot, but I don't know. I don't think I was studying the right way. I was just looking at things and just trying to copy what I what I saw. Uh, this stuff is from imagination. Um, I used to really be against copying stuff, like copying other people's styles. Uh, so I never would. And whenever I tried, I was awful at it. So I figured that's not a good way of going about things. And maybe I just learn uh, foundations. Uh, again, another thing from life. Um, but now I totally changed my mind on that. I think uh, here's one of the early, this was the first YouTube caricature I did. And at first what I did is I just took on caricatures and started painting people. Okay. So this one is, I, I took a Jason Seiler course on schoolism. So it's a big improvement. Uh, just some sketches and yeah. So, I mean, after those courses, I got a lot, that course, that schoolism course with Jason Tyler, uh, things just got a lot more finished before my works all looked unfinished. And what I didn't realize is that, you know, you paint something and get it right and zoom in, paint it again, paint it again, and keep zooming in and like painting more and more. And then eventually things get more detailed and you train your eye to see uh, things so you can finish things a lot better um, so yeah just some stuff from uh, this is I don't know who and then I this is 2010 so probably this is from animation school so this is my first uh, formal education I suppose and going to animation school and I could say I think I learned a lot more from Jason Seiler's course than formal animation school um, and also from private lessons, but uh, did give, give me the opportunity to uh, practice uh, life drawing. So uh, my main focus was trying to get energy and life and motion and gesture into my pictures. So um, you'll see things like this where it's quite messy but I wasn't really thinking about getting a pretty picture it's more just like energy trying to get that motion down uh, because before this my works looked very stiff and it was something I heard uh, from people a lot when they gave me critiques is that your stuff looks stiff so that was something I wanted to overcome and I think uh, during my time in animation school I kind of uh, improved in that area where stuff stopped looking so stiff it kind of got a bit of movement and energy to it uh, and because I had taken uh, caricature with uh, Jason Seiler the schoolism course uh, exaggeration was also something I focused on so yeah something uh, this is from 2011 now so it's not too long ago um, this one's from imagination I was happy with this one just because I felt like I had improved in values uh, getting things to look somewhat like it's not really realistic but it's somewhat realistic ish because before this if I had reference, things were okay. Um, I could make something look kind of like the reference. But if I didn't, uh, it would go badly. Uh, more life drawings. Yeah, stuff like this. You know, I, I wanted to get as much down with as few lines as possible. So f this one I like, but this one I hate. Because you can see, it just looks messy. It's not confident. This one I like. Uh, this is when I started trying to really push my caricature thing into the life drawings. So the guy didn't obviously look like this, but, um, and now what I would do is probably simplify this. So I'd take like this and make it one line, boom, 
so you could just get more simple forms. Um, just sketching around, playing around with vehicles. Uh, yeah, so like I took a truck and I, I made it really squished and small. And I made it, this is, I think this is a normal one. And then I wanted to push it, I wanted to caricature everything. Um, I didn't really know how. So here's like, I did a study of a, a normal house and then I tried to push it horizontally. So make it all flat, but more wide. And then vertically, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure stuff out. It's, I don't know. I'm so not confident in, in my drawing ability and I still have so much to learn uh, when it comes to drawing. Um, there's always some things that are working and some things that don't like the energy is okay in this one but then things like this it's flattening out I didn't get a good sense of form of this form coming towards us this pelvis area um, so it's it's just you know there's a lot that needs to be improved upon um, Here I'm working on trying to get more form, trying to break the body down, but it's still very weak. Uh, yeah, this is how I should feel like, oh no. <laughs> and yeah, sketches. It's constantly a battle between trying to bring what I can do from drawing something from life or from a photo and bringing it to my imagination stuff. And I really struggled with this. And now I kind of have an answer in terms of how to go about doing this. And it's something that I didn't do before, uh, which is look at artists that have already done stuff and I guess make copies of them or study them. And this is something, again, I said I'm terrible at copying and I didn't do. Um, I would see artists do this, like, uh, off the top of my head, hmm. like White Manga. Uh, his work looks a lot like uh, Kubo Noriaki's. Uh, so it's like, yeah, you're copying too much. But actually, his work is awesome. And I can just see how much it helped to improve. So one way of improving is you learn your fundamentals. Um, and then you look at other artists and when you're having trouble, uh, that's when you look at other artists and see how they kind of solve the problem you're having. So, uh, here it's all from imagination, but, uh, what I could have done is like, okay, so I did this pose of like this guy who I think I made him Naruto, uh, how they run in, in, in that anime. What I should have done is like, okay, this is my attempt. And then I should have looked at a real frame of how they run and then done a copy and then try and, you know, carry it over so I can see poses and then learn from it. Uh, this is 2012, so very recent, uh, just doing color studies. I just really wanted to push colors because I didn't, I felt... I've had this experience where I do things that are realistic and then I'll see someone do animation type stuff and it's just so much better. And it's like, ah, I, I don't want to be stuck to realism. Um, like this, it's like, yeah, it's realistic and you're trying to understand stuff. And I mean, there's people who appreciate this and I, I think you can learn a lot from doing it, but I like to uh, experiment more. Uh, this is stuff from my uh, sketchbook. So my sketchbooks are really messy and they're really not for show. <laughs> um, like here, I'm just taking a microphone and playing around with the shapes. Uh, just experimenting with different eye shapes, trying to figure things out. I was trying to figure out my style. Uh, there's this idea that don't try and figure out style, just just draw and it will come naturally. And I think it sort of does, sort of. But uh, if you want to get a more exaggerated style, you kind of have to um, consciously do things, you know, uh, try and 
see, you know, how do I want it to look? And it, it's like you have an idea in your head and then you draw it and then erase it and draw it kind of like this guy. Uh, and uh, I think the eraser for me, it's like my best friend because I draw and then erase and draw and erase until it looks right. And then by doing that, um, I just train myself to like the next time I draw, I don't have to erase as much because I've kind of built it in into what looks right. I think it's very important to uh, train yourself to see what is right and what is not right, if that makes sense. And I think erasers are good for this uh, more than just, uh, you know, like using a pen. Although I think using a pen is probably good. Okay, basically, you know what? Anything you do can work. Any advice, if someone says, you know, copy, and there's probably can work. If someone says don't copy, you know, like anything can work. Uh, the most important thing is that you're drawing a lot. So I sometimes get asked by people, like, they'll tell me I don't draw a lot and I I want to get good. Uh, sometimes they'll ask me, if does, does getting a tablet help? No, of course not. It doesn't help at all. Um, if you can't draw on paper and pencil, a tablet's not going to really do much. I mean, some people find it easier, but honestly, it's just the act of drawing. You can use a tablet or you can not use a tablet, but um, it's doing a lot of drawings. And you could see in 2003, my biggest problem isn't that I was terrible. It's that I wasn't drawing enough. So had I been drawing hundreds of, of, of pictures, then or thousands, then it would have been a lot better. Um, and now I draw a lot more, but still not enough that I'm happy. So I have a friend who, who helped me and he's got a really good style that I think is cool. And he just went over some of my sketches and, and gave his opinion, you know, like keep pushing because he's good at that. And I, terrible <laughs> um yeah so he just you know helped me out giving me critiques on what's working what's not working um and i i think that's a good idea you know if you can find someone who can uh give you some tips on stuff can help uh not much else um these are just more sketches and again, I, I play around with a lot of eyes. I think this energy is okay for that one. Uh, the drawing's not great. Yeah, it's just really messy. And I'm still trying to figure out things like anatomy. I still have to do anatomy drawings. So I really don't consider that I know how to draw. I think I'm just still learning how to draw. And just this one I did a, a painting of. Uh, it's, in, it's in one of the YouTube videos. This girl holding a sword and she has like red hair. Um, what else? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is interesting to people or not. It's just sketches. Uh, I like this. So what I did is I, I looked at like a pose of someone holding a gun. I tried to figure out how to simplify the pose and I wanted to push it. So there's problems here. What I would have really liked to do is push that into a straight, like if I was to redo this, I would make that like a straight line, really push that um, instead of doing it this way, breaking it down. I was using my lightning bolt technique and I shouldn't have, should have just uh, straightened this out because this is pretty much a straight line. So simplified it more, but I do like the exaggerated angle of it. Uh, here I'm just doing a study of like a, a belt buckle. Uh, something that's really important is to get the details when you do belts, because before I would just do like a do like a line and then a square in the middle, and that's not really what a belt looks like. So it's important to just you know figure out what things actually look like. Uh, let's 
some pretty bad stuff. Yeah, this ain't great. So here I'm just reminding myself of basic anatomy things that there's like this pattern with legs where this muscle, uh, so this is the inside of the leg and this is the outside and then this goes lower and then this is higher and then this is lower. And yeah. Uh, ooh, I like this guy. So sometimes I'll do pictures that I actually like, but it's very rare. <laughs> Um, and this is like the I did a Wolverine redesign and before doing it I did this sketch um, yeah I don't know I don't know if my style is coming through but I don't know just trying to draw fatter people <sighs> more stuff trying to figure out things like here trying to figure out uh, how to draw like a shirt here um, I really don't draw enough and dragons so at this point I was trying to figure out dragons yeah pay attention um, <laughs> So this, I think, I I started doing, this is from someone else. I don't remember, but it's not. This is a copy of someone else. And then, um, it looks like a Batman. I was trying to do a redesign. Thought, uh, I want him to look more sharp and have, like, the ears kind of in this silhouette, I thought it was. I don't know, kind of cool, maybe. Um, and right now what I'm struggling with is like pushing stuff. Here, yeah, another Naruto guy, Spider-Man guy. Um, so, like, I like this picture because it's pushed a lot. But at the same time, I don't know if it would fit in a style if there are people that look more like this, for example. Um, I don't know if they'd fit in the same world. So... There's that. Um, so here I did a copy of this guy, uh, Zaguazel. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Anyway, so I did a copy of his, and then what I did is tried to do something from imagination, but kind of in the same style. And I did a terrible job, but it does teach you a lot more. So I didn't do the same pose at all. So it forces you to try and think, you know, how would he simplify? And then you get a better idea of how you would handle things and you learn more. So I think that's where it's good to start um, copying others. And I'll probably try and do that more uh, in the future. Mm. Don't know if there's much else. Here I'm trying to break like form stuff I still have trouble with. So I'm trying to break people down into more basic blocky shapes. Uh, this one is okay uh, in terms of getting some of the three-dimensional form. It's pretty embarrassing showing this stuff because it's like basic stuff that I still have trouble with. So, yeah. I like this guy. He looks kind of like... Uh, I don't know, the guy from, uh, is it Harry Potter? It's for a card illustration, just doing sketches. Um, here I'm doing some, trying to figure out how to draw things in, uh, with more detail and understand spacing and relationships. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yep. So, I don't know if that helped, or if it didn't help, or if it was entertaining or not, but uh, it's been 30 minutes, so uh, thanks for watching.